Hi guys, welcome to another weekend project. I'm Eric with Make. This week we'll be making a data logger, or a device that records data over time. In this case, we'll be measuring the power of the sun and taking periodic data readings, which will be stored on an SD card for future analysis. We'll be making a circuit board, or shield, that sits on top of an Arduino. The whole thing will be battery powered, so you can put it wherever you want. Here's Tyler to walk you through the build. You will need the following parts for this build. You will also need these materials. First, we need to prepare a piece of perf board that will fit into the Arduino headers and make the connection between our data logging circuit and the microcontroller. Cut the 40 pin header into four pieces one of six pins, two of eight pins, and one of 10 pins. If you have an older Arduino, you can trim the 10 pin header down to eight to fit. To get this to work when soldering, you need to insert the headers into the Arduino first, then solder. If you try to solder the pins without fixing them in place on the Arduino, you may have trouble aligning them with this slightly off-grid spacing of the Arduino headers. Place the perf board on the pins and mark where you want to trim the board. Once the board is cut down, solder the pins into place. We'll need an external battery to power the logger, so solder a 9 volt snap connector to the voltage in and ground connections on the shield. The SD card we'll be using works on 3.3 volt power while the Arduino operates at 5 volts. We'll provide a separate 3.3 volt regulator to supply this power. Hook it up to the 5 volt and ground pins on the Arduino. We'll need to extend the ground and 3.3 volt outputs using some stripped jumper wire. Finally, add a 10 microfarad capacitor on the output of the regulator as a noise filter, with the positive lead connected to the output and the negative lead connected to ground. Next, add the SD card socket. If you hold it up with the top facing you, you'll notice that there are eight larger pins and three smaller pins. We'll be using only the eight larger pins. These pins are designed for surface mount pads, but their spacing and size will work fine with the perf board we're using. Place the card socket on the perf board so that only one pin touches each square of copper. You'll also notice a larger pad at each corner of the socket. Solder these connections first to hold the socket in place. Then solder each of the eight larger pins to a pad on the perf board. The SD card operates at 3.3 volt logic levels, but on the Arduino side, a logical high is five volts. If you connect the socket directly to the Arduino pins controlling it, you'll damage the card. We'll use a special chip that acts as a buffer between the two. It takes a five volt logic level on one side and outputs a corresponding 3.3 volt level on the other side. Insert the level shifter into the perf board and begin connecting it to the Arduino pins and the SD card socket. Check out the wiring diagram on the project page and use jumper wire to make each of these connections. Make the connections from the socket to the level shifter. Now hook up all of the ground connections. Then the 3.3 volt power connections. The Arduino communicates with the SD card using the serial peripheral interface or SPI. SPI uses pins 10 through 13 on the Arduino. Connect them as shown. Pin 12 can be connected directly to the SD card socket. You'll also need to add a 10 kilo ohm pull-up resistor on pin 10. Connect pin 10 to the level shifter and one side of the resistor with the other side of the resistor connected to five volts on the Arduino. Double check all your joints and wire connections before moving on to the next step. Radio Shack has a large selection of light dependent resistors or LDRs. We'll use a 100 kilo ohm LDR as a sunlight sensor. This special resistor varies from 100 kilo ohms in darkness down to about 50 ohms in bright light. Drill two small holes in the lid of the enclosure and pass the LDR legs through. Connect one leg of the LDR to ground and solder the other leg to the 100 kilo ohm resistor. Connect the other side of the resistor to five volts. Then run a jumper wire from the Arduino pin A0 to the point between the LDR and the 100 kilo ohm resistor. Here's how a voltage divider works. If the LDR is in bright light, the resistance is very low on the bottom half of the circuit, pulling the pin down to ground. 
In darkness, the voltage at the pin will be 2.5 volts since there is an equal drop across both resistors. The readings will range from 0 to 512. You will need the Arduino time library for this project. Find the link on the project page and follow the instructions to download and install the library. Find the link to download the logging sketch on the project page. Program the Arduino with a logging sketch. Put the SD card in the socket and connect the battery pack. We'll just use the Arduino serial monitor to communicate with the data logger. The Arduino is now waiting for the letter T to be transmitted via the serial connection, followed by the current timestamp to start with. The timestamp needs to be in Unix EPIC time format. The link for the EPIC time converter can be found on the project page. Type T, then type the time in the serial monitor, then hit return to send the characters to the Arduino. The logger will be off and running, taking a sample every 15 seconds and sending it back over the serial monitor. The values will also be written to the SD card. To install in the field, remove the USB cable, close up the enclosure, and leave it in the place where you want to log light levels. Make sure the light dependent resistor is exposed to the light and not covered up. If you want to improve on the data logger, try adding a real-time clock chip like the DS1306 so you can log time automatically. You can also make the batteries last longer by wiring another set of batteries in parallel with the battery pack. The Arduino has six analog inputs, so it is trivial to collect other data like temperature, motion, or barometric pressure. If you build a sun logger or any other type of data logger, we'd love to hear about it and how it was useful to you.